FOTA stands for Firmware Update Over the Air, which is the ability to update remote devices. So what does it bring? I would say it is saves on cost and time and has some great security and power features. It's a cost-efficient process because you can get rid of unfill resources to support device updates. It's also time efficient because you can run a multicast update, which is the ability to remotely upgrade device subsets in the same fleet. And finally, FODA is a must to support new features like security upgrades or on-the-fly power optimization for widely spread devices. LoRaWAN is a low-cost LP1 protocol addressing many different applicative use cases such as smart building, smart farming, but also smart metering, lighting, asset tracking, etc. All of which with a very low power energy budget. The key is to support devices with a small memory footprint to reduce both bill of material costs and time on air. The smaller the packet size, the faster the fleet will be updated. So to do this, ST in collaboration with Actility are demonstrating how to run FOTA over tiny devices with only 256 KB of flash. The setup is as follows. On the network side, everything runs on Actility's ThinkPark suite of LoRaWAN core network software, enriched with ThinkPark reliable multicast server. Whereas on the EndNote side, based on the STM32L4 microcontroller and the Semtech transceiver S61276, a complete photo stack is running, including reliable multicast libraries, but also fragmentation, clock synchronization, and firmware management, for example. Yes, definitely. We are glad to perform this demonstration on Actility's production server with our ready-to-use and certified Loran stack running on off-the-shelf STM32 MCUs. And last but not least, everything is fully compliant with LoRa Alliance recommendation for FOTA from Technical Committee.